Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining the concept of absolute and relative path in Python. I decided to cover this topic because I noticed some confusion during one of my recent training sessions. So now let's talk about paths. In Python, paths are used to locate files and directory on your system. These paths can be categorized as either absolute or relative. What is an absolute path? An absolute path is a complete path that starts from the root of the file system and leads directly to the target file or directory. This means it includes all the directories from the root directory down to the file. For example, if you're working with Windows, you start from C. Most drives start from C. So you have C, you have column, backward slash, you have your user and backward slash again, you have username, document and that leads to, to where your file is stored. For Linux or Unix systems, you start from the forward slash to home, forward slash your username of the computer, then down to where your file is stored. A relative path on the other hand is a path relative to your current working directory. That is where your script is running from. So instead of starting from the root, it begins from your current location. For example, if your current working directory is C column backward slash user backward slash your username that document. So if you have a project a, a folder called project in your documents folder and you have a file called um, file.txt to access that file you just simply need to use file.txt if you have a subdirectory that's called subfolder to access that file you use subfolder backward slash file.txt or forward slash whatever the case might be to reference a file in the parent directory, so I mean to so go back one step, you use the dot dot backward slash and file.txt. Let's look at a live demo to see these concepts in action. As an example, I have a CSV file called water quality dataset.csv and a Jupyter notebook called path.ipynb. Both are located in the same folder as you can see. So to use absolute path, you can go to the folder, go to the file folder, right click on the file to see the option to copy the file path, or you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus C to copy the full path directory. So this gives you the complete path from the root to the file, and you can impute it in your notebook, as you can see, to read that file. With relative path, you don't need to start from the root folder. You can simply impute the name of the CSV and you're ready to go. Like you can see, just put um, pd.recsv, the name of the file, and you're good to go. Now, what happens when the file is in a subdirectory? So in this case, I have the file in a subfolder called data. To read this file using relative path, I need to impute data forward slash water quality data set dot csv so by using the data forward slash i'm instructing the python to look inside the folder called data for that file so please note if you don't have a folder called data this will return an error make sure that the names match in your notebook and also with the file folder name okay. if your notebook is in a subdirectory and you need to access a file in the parent directory you can use the dot dot forward slash to move up one level or dot dot forward slash and dot dot forward slash again to move up two levels and so on. So for example, if my Jupyter notebook is in a folder called scripts, to read the water quality dot CSV file located in the parent directory, I will use the dot dot forward slash to go up one directory, then use data forward slash to specify the folder followed by the file name as you can see on your screen in conclusion you can use either a relative or an absolute path when reading a file in python it depends on your current directory and how your files are organized thanks for watching i hope this clears up any confusion you may have if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on the next one